It might be better if I sit this. All right, uh, I'm interviewing Louise K. Bell, an animator, illustrator, and photographer from Glasgow. She is running a Kickstarter for her project called Tea Leaves. Louise, uh, what is Tea Leaves? Uh, tea Leaves is uh, going to be a short film combining animation with live action, and it's uh, combining horror and comedy as well. And it's about three different supernatural creatures that meet at a Ouija board seance, and the kind of all the chaos that ensues from that. That I, I like the, uh, the 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 phrasing there. They meet at a Ouija board seance like it's a party. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the idea the idea was that they would. Uh, I've got a mind blank <laughs> there. Sorry. <laughs> The idea was that it would be the three different creatures that meet and let us start. The, the original idea was that they would meet at a haunted house and then I thought it would be more interesting to have them at a Ouija board seance so they could interact with the Ouija board. So what are the... An idea of their personalities. So what, what are the three creatures? So there's like a Wendigo demon who's there to kind of like steal the people's souls that are using this Ouija board and there's a, like a banshee who's kind of there just to cause mischief and trouble and there's a cat ghost who's just kind of there to play <laughs> with the board, a little innocent cat So ghost. basically just be a cat but also dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, with um... The Wendigo and the the Banshee, it seems there's a very much uh, an influence of folklore in this project. Uh, what started your interest in that field? Um, I've always been interested in like supernatural creatures and go sort of ghostly things. And I done a project in October when I, I drew. I did a project called Inktober on Instagram where I did a different drawing every day and the theme for that was supernatural creatures and then that got me like researching into all different like folklore and supernat supernatural creatures and I thought it'd be interesting to make a film about some of those creatures that meet and so I decided to choose the three ones which I thought were the most kind of interesting ones which was the Wendigo and the Banshee and the, <laughs> the cat I just wanted to kind of see how I could make a film that included three different creatures and I thought the idea of the Ouija board kind of came to me I thought that would be a good way to have them all kind of brought Yeah, a, a reason a reason for them all to be in the same place because they're from very different cultures Yeah yeah. Right, so, what would be your your favorite creature in folklore? Um, I'm not really sure. Probably in in this film, I like the cat. <laughs> most. I like I like the Wendigo as well, just because he's got the skull. And, I don't know. I just like it, the way he looks. It's a very uh, striking image. The Wendigo is. Yeah. Your art style, because I've been looking at the Kickstarter, obviously, your art style is very, very distinctive. What would your influences be? Thank you. Um, well, my, my earliest influence was like, the likes of Tim Burton, and I grew up watching like Nightmare Before Christmas and all that, and that was kind of my biggest inspiration. And then as I got older, I kind of looked into other kind of animators like Jan Spankmeyer and Brothers Quay and all that kind of thing. And then I do my drawing style. I'm inspired by kind of mm. a different bunch of different illustrators. I quite like kind of quick ink styles, likes of like Quentin Blake mm. and Ralph Steadman, that kind of thing. And I'm inspired a lot by different artists that I see on Instagram. I use Instagram quite a lot. And I don't know. I've always, I feel like my style's always kind of changing and developing, and I'm always learning and always. <laughs> I, I've, I'm actually very familiar with Jan Vankmeyer myself. I think he's amazing. <laughs> but, um, yeah. <laughs> he kind of does the whole like, combining animation yeah. with the real world and 
the kind of creepy stuff, all the, the bone <laughs> creatures. <laughs> So, just talking on the animation and the combining animation with the real world, what are the challenges you you see with combining animation with live action? Well, I've never worked in live action before, so that's going to be a whole new different challenge. And I'm used to working in a kind of miniature little environment with the little stop motion puppets and having to move them individually. But with this, it will be working with mm. real people and telling them what to do, so that's something I'm not used to doing and everything will be like huge rather than <laughs> tiny. So <laughs> be a whole different set of challenges. Yeah, it's, it's very different working with a puppet that's the same size as you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they can talk yeah. back as well. <laughs> Alright, so what are the challenges you've had running the Kickstarter so far? The biggest challenge has been like, promotion and sort of mm. getting out there, spreading the word, word of just being like spamming Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and posting wherever I can, contacting all different blogs and newspapers and just trying to say, hello, I'm here, <laughs> like, just spread, spread it. <laughs> Shouting <laughs> into the abyss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so can you talk us through some of the rewards? The, there's all different rewards the, for like a lower donation. You can get a copy, like di a digital copy of the film, and then you can get like art prints, and there's also T-shirts, and there's a little lapel pin of the cat ghost, and I've also got an artwork booklet of all my illustrations. And then for like higher up donations, there's like original artwork available, and I'm gonna make little like Ouija board planchettes <laughs> that I'm gonna paint myself. And there's also uh, one that I did recently. It's going to be like an experience where you can come to a haunted location. We're thinking maybe in Edinburgh, because there's lots of kind of spooky places in Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do like, a real ghost hunt and a, a premiere of the film as well. And all the all the cast and crew will be there. So as well. technically, the uh, the ghosts from the show will be there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we won't summon a real get eaten. Yeah, let's not have cannibalism at the premiere. <laughs> no. <laughs> How can people learn more about your art and about the Kickstarter? Um, well, I'm all over the place really. As I mentioned, I'm on Instagram. I kind of use that the most out of all my kind of social media platforms, but I'm also on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and Vimeo. It's all my animation work on it and I've got my own website which is louisekbell.co.uk so that will have all the links to Alright, well thank you very much Louise that was our interview that was our interview with Louise K. Bell about her Kickstarter for her film Tea Leaves all of the links to Louise's website and her social media accounts will be in the description below <laughs>